Hi, everybody. This is Jim from Jim's Everything Else channel. All right. A lot of people are asking me, where did I get my stuff? Where did I get my buckets and grommets and everything else and how I do it? So I'm here to tell you. All right. As you can see on the screen, we have the buckets that I used. I got them from Amazon. These are the cheapest ones I've seen. There's other ones out there that cost like $40 a bucket. It's outrageous what hydroponic stuff costs. So this was a, was actually a deal. I got 12 buckets for $139. I know it's still a lot of money out of pocket, but they last a few years. So you can recoup that cost. It is my hobby, so that's not a bad price for my hobby. So this is what I used. I don't have a link. I'm not affiliated with these, but this is how I did it. Thank you. Okay, to continue, along with the buckets, you'll need grommets. These were actually really cheap. I got a pack of 25 for only $16.40. Real good. Of course, I'm not affiliated with anybody. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but this is what I used. Okay. And these are the tools needed. A drill could be corded if you don't have a cordless one I, like I do. It's PVC cement. A hole drill bit big enough for your grommet. This is a half inch grommet, the inside diameter. Half inch PVC piping that'll go through the grommet, a couple of elbows, and other PVC piping, half inch PVC cutter. You can also use a hacksaw or even a handsaw. And I have this step drill bit, which I'll be using. And this is just a, a spare bucket as an example. This is not what I'm going to use in my garden. That'll be in the description. All right, let me get set up and I'll show you how to drill the hole and set up the PVC. One thing about this PVC glue, I like the red hot blue, the PV, PVC pipe cement. It is one application. You don't need any other thing. All you do is put it on and um, put it on the pipe, put it on the fitting and slip the fitting on and within 10 seconds it's rock hard. Don't need any primer. Okay. First thing I want to do is start drilling my hole. You want to get it about three, three and a half inches above the bottom. And you're trying to make it big enough for this to slip in. Step, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. This is what I use to kind of clean up the the edges. Reach in there and kind of clean it up. You 
you want it almost smooth enough, well you need it smooth enough to where that rubber kind of seals because you're going to have a lot of water back tacked up on this. Then you put that in. And you got, you got a nice little seal. Then what you do is get this moist. Once it's moist enough. Then you just put it in. Like so. Then you don't have any or you don't have to have the PVC cement on the inside of the bucket because you don't care if it leaks or not. On the inside. Once you got it on, manipulate where the the bottom of the pipe is about half inch to an inch to the bottom. And now you can go ahead and put on your other stuff. And this is where the PVC cement comes in handy. This stuff is getting old, but it still works. It's the Christie's Red Hot Blue. You might want to use it in a well-ventilated area too. I've got it inside there, I've got it right there. Just make sure that we're pointing down. In about 10 seconds, it'll be rock hard. And then put some on here. Notice I didn't clean the pipe that much. You can if you want to, but I haven't had any problems. I've been doing this technique for 30 years as a homeowner, and I've never had a leak with, with the Christie's. Now, you see how it goes down below the bottom of the bucket? That's where you want to put that in the your drain line, and your drain line should be a three inch PVC pipe or higher if you got a bigger system. And what that'll do is once the water fills up, it'll get past the top of this and create a vacuum and start sucking the water out. And once your, your pump pauses on from your timer, it will pump all the way out kind of an ebb and flow system and that's how you do the buckets for your hydroponic system like mine thank you have a great day